We have our exclusive with the young woman who pushed her friend off that bridge in Washington State, sending her friend plunging 60 feet into the water below. And today she could find out if she'll face charges. We're going to hear from her. We're going to hear her side of the story in just a moment. But first, ABC's Gio Benitez is here with the latest. Good morning, Gio. Hey, Michael. Good morning. We all saw that video. It went vi wildly viral. The 16 year old girl pushed off the bridge, the fall making her break four ribs, both lungs punctured. And now she thinks the friend who pushed her should spend time behind bars. Three, no, I won't go two. This morning, prosecutors are trying to decide whether charges should be filed against 18-year-old Taylor Smith, suspected of pushing her friend Jordan Holgerson off a bridge in Washington State. That terrifying incident caught on video, sending shockwaves across social media. Oh, that's so slamming into the water 60 feet below. Doctors say Holgerson is lucky to be alive, suffering broken ribs and punctured lungs. I saw one of my friends jumping off the bridge and I was thinking to myself, like, I want to do that. Speaking so from the hospital shortly after the fall, Holgerson describes how she says her friend came to shove her off that bridge. She was counting down, but I didn't think it of anything of it. And I was like, no, like, don't count down. Like, I won't go if you count down. I'm not ready. And then she pushed me. Police say Smith has cooperated fully with the investigation, which is now in the hands of the Clark County Prosecutor's Office. This coming after a heartfelt plea from the victim's mother, demanding Smith take responsibility. This is not okay. She could have killed my daughter. Holgerson herself now says she wants Smith, who had been her good friend, to sit in jail and think about what she did. And the prosecutor's office tells us they have not made a decision on whether Smith should be charged, but that decision may come sometime today. Michael. Thank you, Gio. And joining us now for an exclusive interview is Taylor Smith. And Taylor, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. And, you know, we've all seen the video and uh, here, and we just saw the video in that piece. And the big question is, everyone's asking, why did you push Jordan? She wanted to jump and she was scared and she had asked me to give her a push and I didn't think about the consequences. I thought she would be fine. So she asked you to give her a push off the yes. bridge because she didn't want to jump. Yes. Well, she wanted to jump. She just was scared she wouldn't be able to. And, and she ended up in the hospital. She had <clears throat> punctured lungs. She had broken ribs. Yes. Were you surprised that she was hurt? I was, but then again, I was with her when she came out of the water and I knew something was wrong, so it wasn't that big of a surprise, I guess. And you two have been best friends for years. Yeah, we were pretty close, yes. And, and But now she says she wants you to sit in jail. Yeah. Does that surprise you that she said that? It's surprising. It's a little shocking, but it's understandable. She's probably through, going through a lot of confusion. But initially, when it happened, you you reached out to her to, to, at the hospital. You actually went to the hospital. I went to the her. hospital. And what happened there? Um, I got asked to leave. I wasn't allowed to see her, so I had left and went home. And did you have, have you had any communication with her since this all happened? We've talked on Snapchat a few times, a few text messages. Um, I've apologized several times, but I have not been able to see her in person. And and what was her response to your apology? It's changed quite a bit. At the beginning, she was very, um, you're fine. I know you didn't mean to hurt me. And then now she just doesn't answer. So. Radio, radio silence. Yes. And do you think you two can ever be friends again someday? I hope so. I really do. I love that girl. I hope so. It's up to her. The ball's in her court. The ball's in her court. Yeah. And, and what do you chalk this up to? Is this with no malicious intent? on your part. I never intended to hurt her ever, nor would I intend to hurt anyone. I'm really sorry it turned out that way, but I just pray that she heals and gets better. All right, friend trying to have some fun and ended up yeah, going the wrong way. Just went south fast. And how surprising is it for you to see her change from it's okay to radio silence? I wouldn't say it's surprising. I'd say that I have no idea what it's like to be in her place, getting talked to by different people, and her feelings change. But I just hope for the best, I guess. You're potentially facing charges, so how do you feel about that? It's scary. I mean, I accept whatever the prosecutor thinks is best for me, considering I caused not only bodily harm, but 
much emotional trauma as well. But I just hope for the best, and I, I'll accept whatever the prosecutor, I guess, gives me. I guess at the end of the day, you just hope your friend is okay. Yeah. Taylor, sure. thank you so much for being here this morning. Thank you for having me. Really appreciate it. David? And we hope the same that her friend's going to be okay and make a full recovery. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And everybody's learned from it. Mm -hmm. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.